welcome to another episode of Andy's Toolbox. Just here in my garage tonight, uh, listening to Coast to Coast AM radio, because there's nothing to do that's any better at 3 a.m. in the morning. In this episode, we're going to go over homemade tools. Uh, I'm starting a series on homemade tools. Uh, I have a few I want to show off, and uh, I got some that I want to make in the future, so those will be on this in this series um in this episode which is the first episode of this series and it's a cool one it's an air chuck homemade and it's going to be with a williams brand or snap-on rebrand handle on it you can put any handle that you want from any manufacturer on it as long as you can drill through it at the diameter you need without damaging any of the uh, surrounding material uh, say it's a comfort grip or something and uh, you punch through to the comfort grip you don't want to do that so I like these hard handles uh, because mainly you know exactly what you're drilling and the diameters that need to be drilled okay so what I had to do to make this tool was go to Harbor Freight and buy a generic air chuck. Now I like this air chuck because it tapers down and it's perfect for this design because it adds that uh, vintage uh, shop kind of look to this homemade tool. Okay, So I went down to Harbor Freight and they have a nice tapered air chuck <clears throat> and what I did was I went ahead and added a uh, I don't know if this comes with this size hook, I can't remember, but this was a while back when I bought this. I think I did put this hook on, or at least I added this rubber insulated piece. So I went ahead and gussied that up a bit. And then as the wheels were spinning and time was passing, I decided that it was time to make this air chuck into a handle tool, my preferred brand of course as you know is snap-on so I went with a snap-on style handle and what I did was I bought a 1 4th MPT uh, 6 inch black steel pipe okay threaded on both ends and I drilled the proper diameter hole which in the case of this tool happened to be happened to be a 17 32nd you're not going to be able to see that size there because my camera probably will not focus um, and what I did was try to line this up on my drill press the best I can it gets a little difficult to drill straight hole when you uh, or trying to drill a deep hole uh, through something and uh, you're not able to use the centering hole in the drill press to line the hole that you're drilling up because you have the machine uh, cranked down all the way so I did manage to drill a semi uh, straight hole it's off um, but I'm happy with the straightness of the hole. I've made other tools similar to this. Uh, they will be in this series and um, in the same respect to drilling a hole through a handle. So uh, this hole, I knew it was going to be off just a bit, but I'm happy with the outcome. So line it up as straight as you can. and drill through, uh, make sure that when you start getting to the bottom that you clean out the debris because it will jam up your drill press. Okay, so after that I went over to my press and with this side down like so uh, and uh, seated against the pressing plate I pressed from the top here 
all the way down until it bottomed out. And then I got a socket, put it on the end, one half socket, and uh, pressed it through just until some of these threads started. Most of these threads started coming out, if not all of them, but not to where the pipe was protruding. What you want is more of the pipe protruding on this end, so you can see the black uh, steel on this end. It gives it a nice effect, and this side uh, having the black steel and a nice brass fitting. I'm happy with the way this tool came out. Um, it is off a little bit, if you can see there. It is off a little bit and uh, not enough to cause any sort of structural compromise. But if you follow those steps, you will have yourself a nice old fashioned style air chuck with the branding of your choice handle on it. So stay tuned for more of these videos and uh, more ideas about homemade tools.